What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Echo IGO coming at you guys with a brand new video, man. I topped with frogs at uh, what's that place called? Collectible Exchange. Shout out Collectible Exchange. Shout out Chubby's TCG. Bro, Chubby's TCG. Uh, I play frogs with like a twist. Like it's a little bit weird. You guys are gonna see. But uh, make sure to smash the like, man. Drop a sub. Like help a brother out. But let's get it started, bro. Let's get started. So we're starting off. We got we got triple substitute. The main man, bro. We got we got this one signed by Ronak. Shout out to the man Ronak. Um, this I mean, nothing to explain here. I'm playing the two swaps actually instead of the three, and then I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. And then I got the two treeborns and the uh, two dupes, like the standard. Well, it's not really standard because we got two here, but um, I'm following the uh, ten foot D theory of uh, two swaps because you kind of have this as swaps already, and these are technically there when you like when you have swaps and then you have this in the grave you don't need swap anymore bro so only two is is what i need it was like a little bit like tough at times because i didn't draw it at, at like some point in the tournament but i mean it was all right uh, if i were to go back to three i would definitely go back to three but i think two is fine so we'll be this, all right we'll be all right so these are the frogs i got the hero lineup it's kind of weird so y'all y'all gonna like it or not, I mean, tell me in the comments. I got the Stratos, the Starlight, baby. Starlight Stratos, nobody buying this shit from me. I don't know why. I got the Ocean for the Water Discard and for the Miracle Fusion. I got the Elemental Hero Wild Heart. We got Mindy cracking, dying. Um, I got the Wild Heart here. People are laughing, but this guy ate a, a Bottomless Trap Hole in tournament and it didn't even die. So I normal summoned it. And the guy was like, activate bottomless travel. I was like, okay, <laughs> this shit stinks, bro. I got the uh, evil hero, Malicious Edge. These are all the heroes I'm, I'm playing right now. I'm not playing the Prodigy. I kind of miss it a little bit. Would you have gone back to the Prodigy uh, now thinking about it? Probably, probably. probably. Yeah, the Prodigy is pretty good. Prodigy is too good to like just ditch altogether. I think you can side out the Prodigy for sure. But meaning the prodigy is just so much better than this piece of shit. But it, it was fun to play. So it's a Earth. Are, it's a Earth, yeah, for Gaia. Yeah. And I got the hand traps. I got the track. I'm, I'm meaning the track. It was okay. It was pretty good. Like sometimes I like I was gonna die, and then the damage step you summon it. They can't like bottomless it and stuff. So uh, one fader. So actually in this tournament I didn't play the fader, but I cut it in. I put it in like in the day following in the 1K. I think it's better off to play without this because I have all these uh, traps in my deck. So I think you should definitely cut this. But if you if you like faders, you should play the faders and cut some of the traps. Uh, Gores, of course, one of the best hand traps in Edison format. Period. Uh, nothing to really say about this card. It's really good. Uh, I got the uh, tributes right here. I got the one dark dust. Spirit. Ooh, talk about this one. It was I. Like it, it still, it still loses to the same problems. It loses to the uh, uh, pulling the rug. Someone told me in tournament is like, hey, bro, you know if you set it, if you tribute set it, it activates in damage step. But I, yeah, I was fun. like, I was like, uh, they have a Kai's in their hand. I know they have a Kai's in their hand. So this is just like, a, uh, I feel like it's redundant if I set it because they're gonna Kai's it anyway. So I went for the tribute summon and I got pulling the rug. So. Yeah, would you have replaced this with anything else? Probably Ryza. Ryza? Yeah, but I think Ryza is... Uh, it's, okay. it's kind of okay. It's whatever. I think Ryza is better in like regular frogs, but this is like experimental. I, I like it. But it's... Uh, like I'd rather just play the triple Kaiases than like something else. Definitely a Ryza or... I don't know, a Tira or some shit. So, uh, or maybe a Vanity Chain? Ooh, main V feed? Main V feed? The meta? Hey. So triple Kaias, nothing really say about this. Uh, I got the uh, one Junk Synchron for the Secret Plays, I can show you guys a little bit. And for the Fusion, I actually main one Instant Fusion. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually never got it off like once. But I will show you the target in a little bit, it's uh, uh, Elemental Hero Mariner. Uh, triple Miracle. So the theory with this card is that I cut the Prodigy just to play this, basically. It does the same thing as Prodigy. Minus the fact that um, the hero you make off this doesn't get bottomless, but it's it was whatever, like it was alright. Uh, and then we have the searchers, I got the e call and the Rota. That's Ooh. standard. Oh, you like that? I that bought that from Tubby CCG. Shout out Tubby CCG. Um, and then I got the removal right here. 
uh, for the spell traps, and I got the one ups. I mained the soul exchange. It came, it came in clutch a couple of times, especially like even in game one, it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, and you just keep it in games two and three. It's, it's decent. Uh, this card is cracked. Would you have thought of playing a second one of these? A second one. Yeah. In Hero Frogs, maybe not. I feel like in Pure Frogs, this is just so much better. But in Hero Frogs, I think the the deck does so much other stuff that you don't really need this to like do stuff. So like you having one as an option is just good. But I think more than one is just kind of breaking yourself. So. Uh, these are the one ups. We got the traps now. I have the discard traps. I'm playing a Karma Cut. Karma Cut is for the, uh, I think, Bayou. Someone told me to play, like, oh, if they normal summon Sirocco, you discard for Karma Cut and banish all the other copies and the grade. So, Sirocco. It never really came up. It was like, all right. I kind of banished, like, a Stratos sometimes just to stop them from, like, uh, fusion summoning so it doesn't hit the grave. Uh, Phoenix Moon Blast is alright as well. I feel like I could play better. I could play this deck better Let's if go I play. Ahead. Let's go, Izzy. Um, I can play this deck better if I play Regeki Break instead of this. But it was whatever. Yeah, but these cards like they deny the graveyard. They do. Yeah. They do. They do for sure. So so it, it's like this is basically like a meta call. I think playing these cards in the meta is basically just saying that you don't want your opponent to have cards in the grave. So that's the meta, current meta basically, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the, my friends Joaquin and Paul for, for helping me build this deck too. Because they were saying that this is better than playing a Geki Break right now because you don't want your opponent to have stuff in the grave. So that's my logic. And I played other traps. This this uh, deck is kind of wonky, it's, play, it's playing like a lot of traps. But it's all traps that you can use on like Black Wings, uh, Diva Hero, Hero B, you know, uh, uh, the Saki one ups. I, I teched in the one of these because I feel like sometimes, even with discard traps, I think I'm not safe. Like, I, I'm dying too quick. Even with like discard traps, with like boars and stuff. I think the Threat New War is that like a one up is really good. And, and post side, this card is not that bad because uh, people will stop you from special summoning. So I take out like a Fader, I take out like uh, Infernal Prodigy, of course, just to play these cards so my things uh, live. Would you have um, exchanged out maybe the bottomless or the Compulse? Oh, two Compulses? No, maybe done one and one, or two and two of either. Oh, oh, I would 100% play two bottomless. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, 100%. Because I think the bottomless, uh, the idea with this card is that it, it returns Absolute zero or synchros, but I think this card like solves the same issue And I think this card is low-key more versatile than than Compulse because sometimes against black wings you just return the monster to their hand and then they just like whirlwind again So I think bottomless is just so much better. I would definitely play two oh, yeah. And on to the uh, side deck I got the Unifrog, the home Unifrog uh, Just to kill the floodgates both sides Nothing really to say about this card. It's, it's good. It's, it's all right. Uh, I like it, but not. It's not main worthy. I don't think it's main worthy. I got two beefing for the you know stop your opponent. Blah 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 from special summoning. Their match. I got the uh, the grave hate right here. Uh, it's it's standard. I I think I my, one of my friends said if you play two uh, one DD Crow, it's not worth it. So I said okay, I'll just play two. I guess uh, the Sirocco and the side came in clutch so so much. Because this card is so good against Black Wings and Bayou Turbo, and the room was filled with like both of these decks. So, and this card is decent enough to where you can just summon it against other decks, and they just can't like it beats over Fossil Dynasty stuff. So it's it's decent. It's really good actually. Uh, one Snowman for the Hero Beat matchup and Black Wings. Because in damage step, uh, it destroys stuff, and they have to commit a Kalu into killing this thing. Uh, so this is a really good card. Uh, my body never really came up. But it's good against like uh, cards that things that spam absolute zero. Uh, this I sub in against uh, against uh, decks when I want to take out some traps, and I see like that I'm breaking a lot with traps. So this is good uh, to substitute for like this card trap. Uh, I just got like a bunch of one of uh, traps to just supplement for like different matchups. The so, needle ceiling. Yeah, shout out to Ten Foot D, bro. He put me on this card. Uh, Tempo D, shout out to the man. He actually won that tournament. Uh, but like some of these cards, I like just like supplement it into, into these uh, main deck after games one and two, uh, two and three. 
because some matchups uh, require you to like play other traps. So for example, if I if I side these if I side these in against like decks that spam like uh, Stardust and stuff, I'd rather just like play these this uh, this and bottom well bottom is actually not good. but this is good against like Stardust, you know. So so whenever I see my opponent like summoning cards. Uh, like in my head in game one, I'm like, oh, I can side this card, I can side this card, and, and stuff. So this is basically my uh, my logic for these traps. And onto the uh, extra deck, I don't have nothing much really special except for the fact that I'm playing the Mental Hero Mariner. Okay, so so what's going on with the the Mariner sauce? So so this guy uh, like doesn't die to bottomless. Uh, like that's what that was my thought process when I was making the deck. But then the problem is that. People will just save the bottomless anyway for Caius and stuff, you know, to deal with it. So I don't, I can't bounce the Swap Frog again. So I ran into the problem where people are like, "Oh, he summoned Mariner. That's cute. I guess I'll just keep the bottomless for something more important." You know. So it was, it was cool just for like a little like mini uh, instant fusion package, but it wasn't really anything special to be honest. Like it, it just, the deck suffers from the same problems with or without this card. So. Uh, I mean, it was just an experiment basically, but it was a cool card. It's nothing really to say about it. And then the other heroes, I got the same lineup. Uh, I have the the cool uh, synchros that everyone in the world plays. Nothing really special. I played the one Junk Warrior. I never really went into it, but I think it's a cool card. It just like pumps up. And it, it, if you drag, copy something, copy a level lower, two or lower, and then summon this, it copies Trag's, uh, like it takes Trag's attack. Yeah, yeah, it's, really yeah it's super strong. Uh, this, and then I got the no name. Oh, uh, the no the name. Archie. Sure. And then I got the, I got the judge, uh, okay. Konami judge, because I'm a judge too. I'm not the best judge out there, but I am a judge. Yeah, he's working on it. He's working I'm on working on it. it. So, uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Any shout outs? Any sh shout outs to Tubby CCG? Shout out to Tubby CCG. Hey, hey. And uh, shout outs to the homie Julian behind the, behind hey, yo, what's the up with camera, it? bro. Uh, and then that's it, bro. Yeah. Uh, drop a like, drop a sub. I'll see y'all later, man.